Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick, and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you remember where the hell we are and how the hell we got here? Well, we just got done reading Jeremiah chapter 27. We did. And what I recall from that is that Jeremiah was standing out in front of the castle, maybe, and he, <laughs> was, castle. he was talking to the messengers of other kings and being like, hey... You all might want to change your ways or God's going to, you know, send... He's going to get you. going to get you. Babylon's going to get you. Hey, fuckers. Somebody's going to get you. <laughs> send, send this message back. Go, go he tell He coming. Him. Yeah. Still. Right. Some more. And, and, and the chapters are out of order. They were so out of order. Yeah. Like, we, we were... I, I don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore because we were back before when they still had a chance to redeem themselves, apparently. Yeah. And then we had already read a bit where they're like, nope. It's done. Yeah. You're, it's 70 over. 70 years, you're, asshole. You're, you're cooked. Yeah. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. There is there is no rhyme or reason to what we're, we're reading about right now. Nope. So that was Jeremiah chapter 27. Sure as fuck was. And today we're getting into... Jeremiah chapter 28. All right. Let's do this. Okie dokie. All right. Here we are. On our live Discord, that is sad that if you're listening to this in the recording, you probably missed our live Discord on Tuesdays at 10, and you should be there because yeah. it's so much fun. And right now, we are hopping into Jeremiah chapter 28. Yeah, you should totally join us. There'll be a link in the show notes for the Discord channel. Yeah. And everybody teases me and calls me trashy and makes fun of me. Yeah, it's and good you times. should join in. It's good time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And it happened in the same year. The same year. The same year. That very same year. Okay. At the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah. Oh, back and forth and back and forth. What year are we in now? I think we were talking about Zedekiah in the last one somehow. I don't but remember. I don't remember if it was the beginning or right, the end. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or the middle. <laughs> I don't fucking remember. Anyway, whatever year that was at the beginning. Yeah. In the fourth year and in the fifth month, that Hananiah, or Hannah Montana? No, Hannah, no. Hananiah. Yeah. The son of Azer, the prophet. You know that guy? No, I don't. Who was from Gibeon? You know that place? I don't. He spoke to me in the house of the Lord. I guess me is Jeremiah. Right. So at least we know one guy. This is the Jeremiah book, so. Right. Okay, so this dude... Had what did I call him? Had I, had, Hananiah. Hananiah. Hananiah spoke to me, Jeremiah, in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and of all the people. Okay. okay. So yeah. he had some shit to say, Hananiah. I'm I'm curious what Ready? they were talked about. Saying. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. This is what Hananiah said to me, Jeremiah. Okay. Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, I Wait, have, Hananiah is telling Jeremiah what the Lord of hosts is saying? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. He's saying that the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, talked to him, Han Hananiah. Yeah. And so Hananiah's like, guess what God told me? Oh, so this is like a little... Uh, I, I don't know if Hananiah is a good guy or a bad guy. Like, <laughs> well, I'm not there yet. They're comparing God, God, God talks. Notes. Yeah, God notes. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So this is what Hananiah says that God said. I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon within... Did you really... Within two full years, I will bring back to this place all the vessels of the Lord's house that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place and carried to Babylon. Oh, so this is one of the quote-unquote false prophets. Yes. It's got to be, right? It's got to be. Because this, like, this isn't the way the prophecy has been going. So right. obviously this is... He's, he's like, guess what God told me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how, I wonder how Jeremiah is going to respond. Oh, me too. Okay, but um, Hananiah is still talking. Yeah. And I will bring back to this place Jeconiah, the son of Joachim, king of Judah, with all the captives, captives of Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord, according to Hananiah. Got it. For I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. 
Then the prophet Jeremiah spoke to the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and in the presence of all the people who stood in the house of the Lord. And I bet that they were watching with like that tennis ball eyes that go back and <laughs> forth with their, their mouths agape. Yeah. And the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. The mm. Lord do so. The Lord perform your words which you have prophesied to bring back the vessels of the Lord's house and all who were carried away captive from Babylon to this place. Nevertheless, hear now this word that I speak in your hearing and in the hearing of all the people. The prophets who have been before me and before you of old prophesied against many countries and great kingdoms of war and disaster and pestilence and zebra cakes. What? Okay, random. Nothing. That, that, yeah, definitely not. I was in there. just thinking of zebra cakes because the kid was asking for some and I forgot to get them the first time, but then the second time that I went to the grocery store, I got them that time. Great. Yeah. So, war, disaster, pestilence, and zebra cakes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. As for the prophet who prophecies of peace, when the word of the prophet comes to pass, the prophet will be known as one whom the Lord has truly sent. So he's setting himself up to be the correct one. Is he's like, we'll just see how this pans out. And that's see who's what Jeremiah right. says. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. Right. He's like, if you say so. Yeah. As my guess, that that's my summary. That's what I could it be sounds wrong. like, right? If you say so, guy. Yeah. Then Hananiah the prophet took the yoke off the prophet Jeremiah's neck and broke it. Oh, so there was a Jeremiah. This was like a staged show. I told you he was wearing that. He It was very likely. Remember, I read the notes. That was very likely that he was just yesterday. Okay. I told you it was very likely that he was wearing it himself when he was speaking to these other people, Got the it. messengers, as like a display, as like a show. Okay. I don't recall that, but I, I believe that you did say it. I so did I, you know, totally I don't know. 100% say it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so he was definitely wearing it then, not maybe wearing it. Right, right. And so this Hananiah guy was like, give me that. And he took it off of him and broke it. And Hananiah spoke in the presence of all the people saying, thus says the Lord, even so I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from the neck of all nations within the space of two full years. Mm. Well, we heard 70, but okay. Well, from Jeremiah, right? right? This is again. Yeah, that's what I'm is, saying. Like, I'm like, prophecy. okay, guy, if you say so, but I heard seventy from the other guy, right? So right, yeah. we'll see. And the prophet Jeremiah went his way. Now the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah after Hananiah the prophet had broken the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, saying, "Go and tell Hananiah, saying, Thus says the motherfucking Lord, for thus." says oh wait no i lost my place you have broken the yokes of wood but you have made in their place yokes of iron so okay. you are going from the frying pan into the fire got it that's what god wants jeremiah to tell um hananiah that god said got it okay are you following all this yeah well okay. this is this is apparently even before uh like because he didn't Jeremiah literally wasn't arguing the prophecy apparently until he walked away and God told him the new prophecy. So like this is prior to I don't Jeremiah know. actually having the prophecy that they're not being correct with these or something. I don't. I'm not following. I'm a, I'm a little confused, but okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So for thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron on the neck of all these nations that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him. And I have given him the beasts of the field also. Whee! Okay. All right. Then the prophet Jeremiah said to Hananiah the prophet, Yeah. Hear now, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, but you make this people trust in a lie. Oh, Ooh, he called him a liar yeah. straight to his face. Wow. That, that was kind of brave. Uh, and so, yeah. I mean, so assuming he, that it actually happened. If he sure. did that, that's yeah. kind of brave. Right. Like, I have all bark. And very little bite. I don't know that I could walk up to somebody and in front of a whole crowd be like, um, that's cool, but you're lying. You're a liar. I don't have a good sense as to what everyone's status is, though. Like, I don't really know how high up Hananiah is. I don't know how high up, honestly, Jeremiah is, other than he had 
influential parents at some level, right. rich parents or whatever. But I don't really. But also, he's descended from a family that housed the Ark at one point. Right, right. But I don't, I don't quite understand the entire hierarchy of how everything breaks down with regard to who's the most important and who's, you know, that's something that's missing in my understanding of what we're reading right now with regard to these two people talking. Right. Okay. So that's all I'm saying. So would it help you determine whether or not it was a brave act for him to call? Hananiah a liar straight to his face in front of everybody if you understood Hananiah's role? Well, yes, because it would it, 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 if I understood his role with regard to what Jeremiah's role is, it would help me understand how detrimental it could be or isn't to his livelihood, to his livelihood if he did this. Got that it. That's why. Okay. So it would be interesting to me if we have the ability to cover that in the Q&A. Okay. That we might, if if we can look into that, that would be something that would interest me at least. So I will see what I can find on Hananiah. I'm not sure there's a lot out well, there. Well, not necessarily Hananiah. The, just the general hierarchy of how prophets versus priests versus um, well, kings, etc. all kind of breaks down with okay. regard to society at that time. Okay. That's well, all. these are both quote-unquote prophets. So they yeah. would have been somewhat equal but there might be in the eyes of the people. There might be elders. There might be juniors. There might be, sure. you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. Sure. I don't again I don't know how it all breaks down. I would be curious in finding it. Curious to find out. Okay. Got it. That's I'll see all. what I can find for you. Yeah. I, it I may it may not result in any information, but I don't expect it'll be easy <laughs> to find what you're looking for. Probably not. Because Probably not. I do not have the droids you see. Yeah. Therefore, thus says the Lord, behold, I will cast you from the face of the earth. Mm. He's gonna fling motherfucker out to space. <laughs> Damn. This year you shall die, boom, because you have taught rebellion against the Lord, just let I tell you. Wow. Hey. But just a minute ago, Jeremiah walked away agreeing with him. Well, he was like, extent. we'll see. Yeah, right. He right. wasn't agreeing with him. He was but like. But he wasn't like yelling at him. If you say so. Right. But then God was like, go tell that motherfucker that he's a liar. <laughs> and so Jeremiah was like, oh, God says you're a liar. Yeah. And then Hananiah is like, Psst. And then. um. So God's like, oh, go tell that motherfucker I'm going to kill him. I'm this is like the guy that goes up to tell somebody else, like, hey, so-and-so is going to be waiting for you on the whatever after school. So <laughs> He's going to be know. waiting for you on the playground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> right. And Jeremiah's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this year you shall die because you have taught rebellion against the Lord. So okay. Jeremiah delivered that message to Hananiah. Yeah. So Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month, the end. Well, that's just convenient that they got that prophecy correct. Mm -hmm. That they that God told Jeremiah to tell him this thing, and then it happened. And then now we can just totally believe everything in the Bible because that was correct, according to the Bible, written by Jeremiah right. thousands of years ago through multiple translations. Like, basically, I Jeremiah's, I, I, like, sitting around with, like, his friends when he's old, and he's like, so guess what? You remember that fuckface uh, Hananiah way back when? Yeah. Yeah, I know. He was only around for, like, a couple years. Like, he, yeah, you probably, you young as wouldn't know him. This was before your time. Right. Yeah. So, anyway, hey, but you were there. Hey, so do you remember that time when he got up in my face and I was like, God says you're a liar? Well, Nobody else knows this, but, like, I totally told him, God said you're going to die this year. And then he did. What do you think of that? Right. And, right. Then, and, and then all the oldsters are like, whoa. This could, depending on the time frames of when this this happened, uh -huh. this could explain why. You remember when he, like, it was, I think it was last chapter, right? Where they was up. No, no, no. Might have been two chapters ago. Where he was up in front of everybody and telling them, um, you know, doom and gloom. Everything's going to be bad. And then they took him captive, right? Yeah. And then they sat him down and talked. They talked about it. They had a little quorum and mm -hmm. discussed things. And they decided to let him go because he's pitching God's word or whatever. Right. Well, if he had done this prior and this guy died prior to that happening, mm. somebody might have been like, hey, you know, that one, he, guy, that one guy, he died. That so Hananiah did die like the maybe same Maybe we don't want to fuck with him too much because maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But like. Just to side on the air of caution. I don't want to die, so like maybe we just let him go. You said like, side on the air of caution. You pulled a me. It's air on the side of caution. Oh. You did a total yeah. um where you flip words. Yeah. You yeah, did yeah. that thing. Yeah. You've never done that. Do you have the Alzheimer's now? 
oh my God, you've never done that before. <laughs> I'm freaked out right now. You guys, I'm freaked out. Oh my God. Okay, sorry. Go on. I'm listening. I, I don't remember where I was going now. No, but you're cause... right. Because they, they would have been like, okay, so we were totally mad at you, Jeremiah. But then we just remembered that there is precedent for this with Micah. And then also remember a couple of years ago, he totally was like, Hananiah, you are going to die, fucker. And then he did. Oh, yeah. Let's just let him go. Right. Right. Yeah. That could, that could make some sense. Could, yeah. I mean, you know, in, in regard to a, an actual story that might make sense, I guess. Yeah. So, oh, whatever. Maybe he killed Hananiah I mean, to make the prophecy come true. I, I wouldn't put that, you know, out of the realm of possibilities. So. Right? He's like, you're going to die. He seems very intent on being a prophet. And, and then and, and then in the back of correct. his mind, he's like, I'm going to make sure that <laughs> right? this prophecy comes true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want to. I want to read this book. Oh my gosh! There's there's so many things you could do with it, just depending on how yeah. you create Jeremiah as that character that could be a nefarious character. Yeah, you know, I want so. I want to read the book where Jeremiah is this power hungry ladder climbing motherfucker. See, I was thinking scheming. more like a Dexter, but Ooh, Bible. He's like yeah. a sociopathic biblical prophet. Yes. You know, yes. Like that that sounds better to me. Yes. I think that would be the way to go with it. But without the incest and without like the whole well, actually it is Bible, so I take that back. There could be incest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I actually. mean there's, there's really nothing you couldn't do with regard to the Bible. I yeah, I started like. to say, I don't know, Dexter's too far, but no, you're right. Is Dexter further than the Bible? Absolutely not. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's a statement right there. The Bible is not worse than Dexter. No, wait. The Bible is worse than Dexter. Yeah. yeah. That's sad. Yeah. That ain't right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that was Jeremiah chapter 28. Sure as fuck was. Which means that we'll be back tomorrow with... Jeremiah chapter 29. All right. We'll see you then. Okie dokie. Hey, wife. I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Oh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye.